A hundred years ago this weekend, a journalist from Liverpool was asked to come up with a new kind of puzzle for his readers. So the crossword was born. It's gone on, of course, to become one of the world's most enduring brain teasers. John Halpern is crossword setter for a number of national newspapers, written a book about this anniversary. Also, the man responsible for the two clues we set you a bit earlier in the programme. We'll come to those in just a moment. Very good morning to you. Good morning. morning. Are, are you... Why are you a crossword setter? Were you, as a child... Paint us a picture of you as a, a child. Were you a natural? Have you got a gift of some kind? Not really. I think we, in our family, always loved sort of playing with words and we'd sit around um, at, d at dinner time and my dad would say things like, um, I'd, I'd ask, can I get down from the, from the table? And he'd say, no, you, only, you can only get down from a duck. And it was sort of, you know, biggest down is feathers from a duck. And, and there was all this, I know, I know. It's sort yeah. of, you have to think about these things. But that sort of thing was, was, was commonplace and going on all the time. And, uh, and it, it, was, it was just immensely fun. So I started sort of looking at words and seeing them in, in, in a different way and playing with them. How did you decide to become a crossword setter? Um, gosh, um, I don't know really. I, 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 I solved The Guardian and The Times and I really, really enjoyed those. And uh, one, one day I started, just thought I'll just have a go at writing clues and, and um, hopefully, you know, I was reasonably, reasonably good at it. Good at it. And I, I, I shut myself in a room for two years and learned how to do it really, really well. And, and uh, now I've got a job that I really, really love. So... What is, what is the trick of writing a good crossword then? I mean, can you, for example, you say you lock yourself in a room, so when you're writing a crossword, can you, do you sort of automatically click into easy, fairly hard, or extremely difficult? Can you just automatically kind of regulate what you're going to create? Um, you're sort of aware when you're writing whether something's going to be, going to be tough or not, and, and you try to create um, a balance in a puzzle, so there are some easy ones that sort of get you going, get you, get you into it, um, and then there might be a couple of, couple of tough ones as well. So today, yes. when you set the clues and the, the, the questions earlier, yes. easy-ish, you know, um, because we struggle. Uh, <laughs> well, it all depends <laughs> on the individual. Well, well OK, OK. Let's, tell, let's, get, let's remind our viewers of the clues we let out earlier. Uh, this one is an anagram with two wo words. The clue is, the clue is real chatty. Is real chatty. And it's two words of seven letters and five letters. The answer, Israel Chatty, is an anagram of... OK, there you go. So there's the answer. Now, uh, when you say that something like that, are there some people, and I know, I mean, I know this anecdotally, some people can just see them instantly, can't mm. they? Some people can look at that, an anagram, and go, I know it, straight away. And others uh -huh. can sit looking at the same letters and... Think them through any, and it doesn't spring to mind. I know. I think perseverance will get will get you there. But you can start with small, smaller words, and and and, and you'll find them. But um, maybe some people are predisposed to it. I don't know. But um, um, can I can I say what the answer is to is real real chatty is? Charlie, yeah, so we did come up with it. So, so so great. So um, I mean, when when I was when I was thinking, what can I do? What can I do with Charlie State? Because you, you start with words, and I was looking at your your your, your name, and it, it's oh, fantastic. Oh, mine would have been. Mine would have been. I know, impossible. so so tough. And I thought, okay, well, Charlie State. Go for the easy one. one. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other uh, clue we had this morning is a uh, uh, crossword clue. Uh, the letters H I J K M. Looking for a four-letter word. H I J K M. This is one you needed to say out loud. You needed to talk about this one out loud, I think. You couldn't think about oh, it. Because what you, you say, oh, where's the... Oh, the L's missing. There's no L. That's it. No L. You end up with the answer. That's it. No L. And when you're setting those, do you plot it through like that? I mean, is that, is that how you're, you're figuring it out? Um, sometimes, sometimes you say a word, no L, and you think, well, it sounds as if I can create something where I can take the L out of something, you know. So um, it, it sort of goes works backwards like that. But um, you, you start with a word and play around with it and you can come up with Do you think answers. crosswords are good for you? Because oh God, I yes. wish I was one of those people who could, you know, do the, the cryptic crosswords are beyond me. And the, even the normal crosswords, I get a bit frustrated and tend to buy the paper the next day and uh -huh. look at the answers and uh -huh. pretend I did, would have got them. Uh -huh. But th they do stimulate the brain, don't they? They do. They, they, they say, it says, um, you know, they ward off Alzheimer's and things like that. So it's, 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 it's a great thing to get into and they're, they're amazingly addictive and loads and loads of fun. So Are you allowed I'd to really say which it. newspaper ha has the hardest crossword? Uh, I know you, I know you, you, you do some many. for I, some of the various Yeah, I mean, I mean you? you can have a go at one of mine. I'm in The Guardian today. There's one especially about the about centenary today. But yeah. uh, maybe the, the Guardian and The Times are a little harder than, say, The Daily Telegraph. So if you want to get into it, you might buy something like... Um, Puzzler magazines or something like that, yeah. or Daily Telegraph, or 
maybe the financial terms is a little easier as well.